day three, finishing up unit one and going on to unit two. <clears throat> Hello, Rafa, how are you? Rafael, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm tired. Uh -huh. Why? I'm arriving in Tucson, Tahana now. You're you're driving or you're arriving? Arriving. Ah, okay. Santana's a little far. Around 48 kilometers. Yes. Do you work in San Salvador? Yes, in Concentrics. Yeah, 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 a little far then. <clears throat> Gabby, how about you? How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi, Rafa. Um, I'm doing Hi, well. I I had a good day because um today it's my anniversary, we could say, uh, in my work. Now I have one year, my first year working there. And my boss um, had me and told, and told me that he wa she was very happy to have me there because I helped her a lot. So it made me feel very motivated. And so it was a good day, mm, even in, in the um the way home mm -hmm. i didn't have any mistake so any any trouble so i am fine and what about you okay that's great it's congratulations on having your year that's that's excellent that they were able to you know recognize and help you yeah thanks oh that's good Okay. All right. So, did you guys have any problems with the reading from yesterday? Um. Yeah. Um. Not a problem, but I wanted to to ask you the correct pronunciation of some words. One is it in achieve. I. I think it's um, the way of doing something, the meaning, but I'm not sure about the um, pronunciation. Achieved is correct. Achieved. Achieved or oh, achieved. Achieved. Chi. Okay. So the A at the at the beginning, it's right to 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 sound. It's like achieved. An, uh, Ah, exactly, like an awesome. sound. Um, okay, and also approach, it's correct, approach? That's right, it's approach. Okay, and manner, the same, manner, or is manner? Manner. Manner. Oh, okay. I think that's, that's the only, the only questions about the reading. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any questions about the reading? Mm -hmm. 
No, the other ones were okay? Yes. Okay. Perfect, we're just taking a look at the questions uh, from the reading or from the platform unit one. Does anybody have any other questions from unit one? No, all right, let's take a look then. Let's get started as far as making sure that the vocabulary is clear. So here we have the reading from yesterday. Let's take a look and see what we chose for the different words. Number one, resentment. Resentment, what is the meaning? Um, I think it's anger that grows over time. Okay, no problem. What about deliberately? What's deliberately? On purpose. Okay. On purpose. On purpose. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Good. What about irritate? What is irritate? What are A way of behaving. A way of behaving. Okay. What are, okay. Don't worry. We're going to check them. It's okay. Measure. What is measure? I step taken in order to achieve something. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, we'll see that. What about manner? Manner. A uh, way of behaving, maybe. Mm -hmm. A way of behaving. Yeah. Okay. Resolve. In the problem? Or In the problem, yes. And the problem or difficulty, right? Let's take a look. Hey, we have some mistakes. Let's review and see which ones we need to correct. You see all of these are correct, but irritate is the only one that is not correct. So we already have Okay, what could be irritate? What if we're annoyed? Number two. The second one. Anger that grows over time. I think it's bother or annoyed. I think so. Mm. Okay, let's try bothers or annoys. Okay. You see, excellent. Now, did you complete it in your platform? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did you get a hundred? Not at the first try, but then I, I correct one. Okay, so that's good. And that's the idea. The idea is that not always is a hundred in the first try, but we can continue trying and improving. I have a question, teacher. Yes, Maria. Okay, in this part, the platform is take about the, um, the discussion is not uh, a percent about the, the, the note. I'm sorry, Maria, I don't understand your question. Okay, when we had, yesterday we had a discussion and we wrote, we wrote uh, four sentences in a chart. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if the platform, I don't know, say, califica uh, this, this part. You see here? Here are the things. So, yes, this part? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. is, is registered here. But the ones that are the grades are the ones that have this. Okay. So Mark, those are the ones that say knowledge check, like the one that we just did. Those are the grades. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? Uh, yes, <laughs> me too. 
Uh, yes, yesterday I was confused because um, I saw that my partners showed me the the platform, but I didn't know who chart the platform when we we saw the questions. Mm -hmm. So you want to know how to share the platform? Okay, in, in the in the group. Only you, do you see the button that is here that I am showing? No. Yes, I, I, I saw the, um, the platform, my, my partner's platform, mm -hmm. but, but I, 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 could, I can't do, do that. What, why not, Maria? I don't know. It's, I I have to to share the platform in the in the in Zoom when we are in a group. You don't have to, but if your partner doesn't have access, it's a good idea to share the platform okay. so your partner can see. But is is it possible? Because I I didn't know. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Is is yes, my question? Okay. Yes, of course. Because okay. that is the idea because sometimes your partner is in the cell phone or your partner is not available in, an, in the in to use the computer or something like this. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Other questions? Okay, then we're going to continue with lesson two. Infinitives or gerunds? Today we're gonna to be looking at infinitives and gerunds. Do you remember what are infinitives? Yes. No, could you explain? Okay. Do you remember what are gerunds? Let me explain yes. it. Yeah, gerunds, yeah. Uh, we're saying ing. Correct. So gerunds are the ing and the first infinitive is the verb normal. This is the verb? Normal, in present. Yes. Simple person. Correct. So infinitive is to and the verb. For example, to work, to study, to play. And German is working, studying, playing. Got it. All right, okay. let's watch a small video to see and make sure we understand the difference. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay, so let's take a look. Here, the main idea is we use to with the infinitive and we use for with a gerund. To and the verb for an ing. 
Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And here are the examples that is not correct. Here is not correct because I use two and ing. Yes. And the other is I use four and the verb in base. This is not correct. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna practice a little bit. With our partners, we're going to go to 2.2 and we're going to choose the correct answer to complete the sentence. Remember, we use four or two to give a reason, to explain why for something. So when we want to explain why, we use two or four. So I say, Henry, why do you study English? I study English to find a better job. Excellent. Or Henry, why do you study English? Henry. I study with four. Henry. Yes, with four. Okay, I study English for getting a better job. Okay. That's the idea, is to get or for getting, to improve or for improving. That's the idea for four or two. It's okay? It's okay, I just have a question. There, yes. between these two options, I mean, the gerund or the infinitive, there's one way, I, I mean, one of these ways to say the same thing is more polite or are the same? No, it's the same. Mm, okay, thanks. Okay, let's try with our partners. 
And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, let's take a look and see how we did. Number one, satellites are used. To study the world's weather. Okay, good. Number two, robots are sometimes used. For performing dangerous tasks. Okay. Good. Number three, you can use a cell phone to send, send text, text messages. messages. Okay. Number four, people use the internet for making travel for reservations. Reservation. DNA fingerprinting is used to identify, to identify criminals. Identify criminals. Number one or number three? Number one. One. Oh. One. Uh, and number six, CD-ROMs are used? For a story in uh, an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia. Okay. Hey, perfect. We rock. Excellent. All of those answers are correct. Good job. Good job. Excellent job, guys. Okay. Now we're going to have a, a question uh, quickly, Christian. What yes. is the right um, intonation or, or um, to say criminals? Is criminals or criminals? Criminals. Cri uh, criminals. Criminals. And encyclopedia? Encyclopedias. Encyclopedia. Correct. Okay. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Any other questions? No. Okay. So now we're going to ask our partners questions with why. And then our partners are going to answer with two or four. As an example, I asked Maria, okay? Maria, why do you study at Inglés Corporativo? Why qué? Why do you study at Inglés Corporativo? Um. The microphone, Maria. Thanks. I I am studying in English Corporativo because I need to increase my knowledge about English. Okay, Maria. Try again, but no because. Okay, no because. No because. Okay. Ah, okay. I'm studying English for 
um, increasing is is correct yeah my knowledge correct for increasing my knowledge or to increase my knowledge increase my knowledge okay thanks you're welcome because the two give the same answer they explain why for something okay okay so now with your partner you're going to ask five questions and your partner is going to ask five questions. So five and five. Okay. Okay. It's okay, the example? Okay. Please give me another example, please. Okay. And who said uh, that was Armando? No. Javier, Javier. Javier, okay. So Javier, uh, why do you work? Why do you work? I, um, sorry, I work, um, Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, Javier. I help you. For example, okay. I, work I work to. Go ahead. To I work, uh, sorry, okay. I work to pay my my yes. electric electric my factures. <laughs> my electric bill. Electric bills. <laughs> Yes, I or I, I work for paying my uh, school. Correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So let's practice our partner five and five. Stress. Part A. B. 
Listen and practice. Syllable stress. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages. Telephone. Transmission. Robotics. Understand. VCR. Pronunciation. Okay, guys, any questions on how to use four or two? No, all right. Remember, it's similar to the idea because. When you explain something, we use because. Four and two are similar is for explaining why, the purpose of something. Okay. Okay, all right, guys, then let's continue. We're going to be looking at pronunciation. And here, first listen, only listen, and then we practice the pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. Okay, let's try it together. Languages. 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 Telephone. 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 Transmission. 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 Robotics. 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 Understand. 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 VCR. 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 Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. Uh, I don't know why, but in English, nor some people 
you pronounce T like IR and other people pronounce T like a T. Uh, for example, some people say waiting and some people say waiting. In robotic, uh, YT sounds like like error. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I think Harry he, 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 uh, tried to explain the accent, the different accent in English. For example, in, in British, uh, is the T is more stressed, uh, like a, a American pronunciation. Sometimes I, some people pronounce T like a T in, in Spanish or waiting, waiting. And other people say waiting like T, T like a, um, an R, like an word R. Yeah, Henry, I don't know. I, I, I have never heard people use the the T like an R, so I'm not sure. It's maybe the other vowels, for example, uh, the waiting and waiting. Uh, I hear the vowels, but never I heard uh, the consonants pronounced differently. It could be it could be the accent. It could be the people are are pronouncing incorrectly. It could be the context where you have, for example, like in Spanish, when the people say "pixina." In, uh, yeah, and it's a bad habit. I I don't know because I don't know where you where you heard it, but it's not the correct way to use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But so, teacher, the correct way to use it is to sound like a T, not like a like T. An R. Correct. Not like an R. Exactly. So the correct way is normally to sound like a T. Mm. Waiting, for example, waiting. Or water, water, or water. Uh, correct. But those are not for mispronunciation. Those are for different countries. Uh -huh. England is water because they the vowels are pronounced differently. And in the US is water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So one more time, languages. 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 Telephone. 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 Transmission. 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 Robotics. 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 Understand. 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 VCR. 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 Excellent. This one is only about the pronunciation. Now let's continue for listening to a conversation. Do you remember the difference between borrow and lend? Uh, no. Okay. So borrow is when you want to use. Lend is when the person gives you something. Okay. So, Banco Agricola, Banco Agricola lends me money, not Banco Agricola borrows me money. I borrow money from Banco Agricola. I borrow money, but Banco lends me. Okay. Here, watch a little video and learn more. Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. <laughs> Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. 
You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. So what are we going to do? We are going to practice this conversation and then we're going to answer the questions. Okay. So, okay. If you don't have the conversation, I put into the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The picture is a little, a little bad because this picture is a little bad from the computer. But let me see if I can get a better picture. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So where are we? If you are in the computer, it's 2.6. If you are in the cell phone, check the WhatsApp. Answer the questions, but first practice the conversation. And then here in the discussion but box, write your answers to the questions. Okay. But really write your answers. Ayer teníamos que escribir, hoy que revisamos la de unidad 1, solo tres personas lo escribieron. So remember, write your answers, write your answers so we can check. Mm, okay. Okay, let's practice them. Hello everyone, before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. 
Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Hello everyone. Before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning, we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's Okay, let's take a look. Were there any words that are not clear how to pronunciate from the conversation? No, teacher. No, everything is okay? Yes, I think. Okay. So let's try. Now what we're going to do is with our partners, we're going to take a few moments and we're going to have and create our own conversation. Okay. So what in the conversation with Richard and Jenny, who wanted to use the cell phone? Jenny. 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 Okay. And is it normal for Jenny to use a cell phone? No. No. No, right? Okay. In the conversation, Richard says, first, you need to dial the area code. What is this? What is area code? Like uh, the uh, numbers of country? Is the is the call to ident identify identify? Uh, identify? Identify area and area, area state okay. or countries? Okay, yes, there is like a country code. In a small country, we are very, very small country, small country. So it's only, is not necessarily an area code, only the country. But in big countries, they use the country code and the area like San Salvador, San Miguel, La Union, Santa Ana. Each place has the own phone number because there are so many people. That's the area code. It's okay? Yes. It's okay. Yes. All right. It's okay. Now, before we continue, I want to make sure that we are okay. Maria, did you complete a unit one in the platform? Um, I complete the questions. But I need to feel the, the, the discussion. Discussion. Okay. I, uh, okay. But the knowledge checks, yes. Yes. Okay. Henry, did you complete unit one in the platform? 
I I'm not sure, but I did uh, the knowledge check. Okay. All right. Javier, how about you? I have to try complete in the weekend because um, I wait for the solve in the sport head that opened my level because- uh, They didn't open yet. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we are waiting. Okay. Good. Sorry. No problem. Claudia? I only did uh, 2.3 maybe, I think. I, and you know, I only finished at uh, 2.3. And the unit one, no, Claudia. Unit one, but uh, only three exercises. Okay, only the three exercises. Okay. So remember to work in the platform, Claudia. That way is not accumulate a lot of work for later. Okay. All right. Brenda, how about you? I am exercise one point four, and I had error in number seven. Okay. I write I write the different manners and didn't. Uh, I had error. You didn't do like in the class. This is one point four. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, yes, the exercise seven. Only seven is bad. Ah, okay, only seven. So what do you hang up? So number seven is hang up. Yes. Okay, let's look at the pictures here. What can we hang up? The book. Yeah. For which one? The book. Number seven, the book. Only no. the book. No, what is what is hang up, Beth? Do you know what is hang up? Let's help Beatriz. What is uh, what is hang up? Colgar. Correct. Colgar. So look at the pictures, but there. Okay. What, can we, what can we hang up? Okay. Okay. So what is the correct answer? The jacket. That's correct. There you go. Very good. Okay, so good. Continue working in the platform and make sure you correct it. Good. Okay, Carla, did you complete uh, unit one in the platform? Uh, no. Okay, let me see. Yes, yes, I complete the platform. Excellent, congratulations, very good. Rafael, did you complete unit one in the platform? No, teacher, I apologize for that. Uh, this is a, a a challenge week for me uh, in my job. So, but I promise that I finish uh, today and tomorrow. Okay, okay, good, Rafa, good. Gabby, how about you? Did you finish unit one? Uh, yeah, today uh, in the afternoon. I, ah. I did it. Excellent. Okay, very good, Gabby. Good. Did you finish unit one? Armando? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, 1.11 is missing. Okay. Okay. The one from yesterday. Okay. That's uh, good. Yeah. Okay, we work a little bit more. All right. Elsie? No, teacher, I am in, in unit one, one and, but uh, tomorrow I will finish. Okay, all right. Thank you, Elsie. And Anna, how are you? 
Did you finish unit one? Ana Pineda. Yes, Ana Pineda. Okay. No, I haven't finished. Tomorrow I will finish. Okay. All right. Let's see tomorrow then, guys. Good. Okay. Good job. Now, I ask because we already are in unit two and we continue going. But if you don't advance and then in two weeks, three weeks, you say, hey, teacher, fíjese que tengo preguntas de la unidad uno y ya pasamos tres semanas. And <laughs> so that's why I ask because the idea is to continue, right? To continue the class and the platform together, not separate, together. You're right, teacher. But don't worry. Remember, tomorrow we have class. Remember? Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow is Friday? Yes, Elsie. Tomorrow is Friday. You are correct. Okay. <laughs> Remember, Elsie, it's because... because we, uh, Go ahead. Starting on Tuesday. Uh-huh, because this week we started on Tuesday. That's why this Yeah, week, you're right. Yeah. Only sorry. for this week. Only for this week. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yes. Got okay. it. Thank you. All right. So now we're going to practice our speaking. We're going to practice the speaking with our partners. And we're going to talk to our partners about our routines. Routines. This is the simple present. What do you do in the week? What do you do in your job? What do you do in your day? the routines. So we're going to use the simple present tense, right? Let's try with our partners.
Okay. I'm glad you had the opportunity to practice. Were there any words or vocabulary that you needed that you say, oh, I don't remember how to say this word? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Gabby. That's to me. Uh, I don't know how to say bodega. Warehouse. 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 W A. I, I put in the R chat. E. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where? I, I learned a new a new word to reference when you have when you have uh, brothers and sisters to oh, say excellent. to say like brothers in plural, but I I forgot the the word now. Siblings. Siblings. Siblings, Siblings. Siblings is the is the word to reference brothers and sisters. Oh, Correct. Okay. okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, I hope everybody has a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will finish unit two. Imagine already we finished unit one and tomorrow we finish unit two. So you have to work in the platform because it's fast. Okay. 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 All right, guys, have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Bye bye.